Hello, I thought it might be useful to just give you a little bit of information on my background. I, I actually spent my first 10 years of my working life traveling and I, I, during that period I lived and worked in Australia, taking on casual work and, and mainly in catering, hotels, etc., fruit picking. It was, it was a good time. I, I began my professional career as a nurse when I started training at St George's Hospital in London in 1981. I did general nurse training, then mental health nurse training, and I went on to work as a staff nurse on the mental health ward. I later spent a decade working on hospital clinical systems for a large American company, SMS. And in 1999, I took on a role as a senior manager working on information technology at uh, Tunbridge Wells. It was, that was an interim job, which I did for a short period. And the, the remit was to make the department clinically focused. It was it was a really good experience. Um, so in 2002, I went, came back to clinical practice and I became a nurse prescriber in the mental health assertive outreach team and working with very vulnerable people in a rural, rural community. Assertive outreach, we see people who can be labelled as people who don't engage with it's actually the services that don't engage. And it was about building relationships with people and finding what worked for them, not just medicines, whatever it was. Sometimes it's actually not taking medicines. In 2008, I set up my own company specialising in interdisciplinary working and patient engagement. I've done a number of things then. Um, around patient engagement. I, I'm also an associate lecturer on, and I teach on mental health and prescribing and, and other areas. Of all my areas of experience, I'd say that my traveling experience is probably the one I draw on most. And working with other cultures, working in low paid jobs, experiencing what life's really like. More recently, we, my colleagues and I have successfully piloted what we call patient-led clinical education. And it's, it's about educating patients about medicines and treatments, about sharing information, no decision about me without me, making sure that uh, patients can actually lead on their own care. And that's what I've been doing for really for over the last 10 years. Um, I've seen lots of changes in my unusual career and I've seen things come and go in terms of health ways of delivering healthcare. I've seen really good ideas get adopted and I've seen really good ideas just get bypassed and, and later somebody comes back to it. And uh, the main thing I'd say that I really realise now that, it, that I focus on is it's a, that to deliver healthcare, we must work as equals with patients. Uh, I believe in putting patients in charge of their own care in sharing all information in learning together and working across professional boundaries in interdisciplinary working and jumping across any hierarchies that are a barrier to us doing this. It, this idea isn't new. I mean, there's many examples of this way of working and uh, it isn't as difficult to implement this working on an equal basis, putting patients in charge of their own care when they're able to, or if they're not able to, helping them become able to, if that's possible. It's not as difficult as you might think, and it's actually safer for patients and safer for clinicians. And this, to me, is what healthcare modernisation really means. Um, we all benefit when we work together.